I'm going to try to present evidence that my men are not trolls because some of my fans seem overly concerned that I'm being tricked by trolls and that I give them too much access to my computer. Uh, I would like to explain why I'm allowing Vladimir Putin to have access to my computer. Uh, about a year ago, my computer was behaving very strangely. It was freezing and it acted like it was about to crash. And so I sent an email to my men and let them know about the problem. So they sent their, uh, they sent people in to investigate. And we found out that Cyber Defender, which was the company that I was using to help me maintain my, you know, my computer to help it to run smoothly, to clean out the registry and all that, that it had been taken over by the Jesuits. And Brent advised me to stop using them. Because what had happened was I it gotten so my computer was getting so bad it was freezing and acting like it was about to crash and I was getting messages uh, stating that that uh, that I was that my computer was blocking all sorts of malware and um, at this time when when this was happening my men did not have access to my computer except I was just sending them regular emails and talking to them on Skype, and that was the extent of it. They didn't really have a lot of access to, to my information or to my computers. So what happened was we found out that Cyber Defender was taken over by the Jesuits. I, they changed their name, I think, to U.S. Tech Support. And I wasn't, I didn't want to quit them right away because I, well, I thought, what had happened was I'd, I'd let one of their people go, go into the computer and try to fix it, and they made it worse then Vladimir said, Gail, you need to just quit using these. You know how you, you allow somebody to go into your computer and go in there and fix it? Vladimir said, don't, don't do that. He said, they went in there and introduced viruses, malware, and all sorts of stuff. And Vladimir said, I had to go in. He said, I, me and my men had to go in and it took us hours to fix what they did. And Brent advised me to just stop using them. And we let Vladimir be the one to... Uh, Jesus Christ advised me, he said, let Vladimir onto your computer and let him do it. And don't even use them. Just save your money. So I quit using them, and the computer's doing better. But you have to understand, Zach Knight is a computer genius, and he always finds a way to introduce something into my computer. But it would be worse if I was still with Cyber Defender. In fact, I may not even be here talking to you. It's very possible if I had stayed with them, my computer might have crashed by now. So that is why I use Vladimir. I trust him more than I, you know, you might say, well, if, if I'm not using Vladimir, then I'm going to have to use somebody else to maintain my computer because Zach is always attacking my computer and I always need somebody to go in there and fix what he did. He's got such advanced technology right now. He can get, he can hack into my computer even without knowing passwords or any of that stuff. He, he, he can get right in there. He's been doing it. You have to understand that Satan invented electricity and the computer, and Zack Knight is Satan incarnate. So, you know, I need somebody who's really tech savvy to deal with him and who's not on the Jesuit side. And the only one I can trust is Vladimir Putin. And Jesus Christ himself told me to do it, okay? Um, all I can say is Vladimir had all sorts of access to to me in the past year. And if he's a troll, he could have destroyed me by now. Same with Brent Spiner and Terrence Jenkins, okay? If those men are trolls, they could have destroyed me by now with the amount of information they have on me. The mere fact that they haven't done it yet is proof to me that they're not trolls. Of course, Vladimir, I'm not Vladimir, Zach is trying to pretend like they are. And one of the things he did was when I uh, had a visit with the Gabriel Chana Fox News Channel, and that was with Melanie Richards and Tyrone Jenkins, who is Terrence Jenkins' nephew. Um, Zach was trying to sabotage the visit. And he got a hold of Melanie Richards' camera and caused it to run when she was in my apartment. And we didn't even realize it was running. And then when we went out to the Olive Garden later to eat, then we couldn't get the camera to go because the battery was almost dead because it, it had ran for hours in my apartment. And we thought Zach was sabotaging the camera in Olive Garden to make it to die down. So I talked to him, and Zach was snooping onto the camera, and he used his spy technology to somehow extract from Melanie's camera 
he, he could actually extract what it was doing and, and download it to his own computer, which is what he did. And then he posted that online at, um, at his uh, YouTube channel for Zach Knight. And I'm showing you that. Now, if you listen to that voice, it appears that Zach has doctored the voice of Ty Tyrone Jenkins, who's the nephew of Terrance Jenkins, to make it sound like Terrance Jenkins. But if you listen really good, the voice does not have the melodious baritone singing quality of um, Terrance in the next clip. Uh, when you listen to uh, Terrance in the next clip from December 2011, he, uh, he, Terrance sounds like an older man, which he is. His uh, nephew is in his 20s and just recently graduated from med school. And Tyrone is a judge, and he's in his upper 40s. I think, I think he's about 50 right now. And so, first of all, to, they, the personalities are a little different, and Tyrone sounds like an older man, and Tyrone sounds like a younger man. The voices sound the same because uh, Zach has messed with Tyrone's voice to give it more of a raspy Tyrant sound. But if you've got a sharp ear, you can tell that they're not the same. Now, the real evidence that my men are not trolls is the next part with the Brent Spiner clip. If you listen to Brent Spiner's cry when Lori whacked him over the head with her with a dildo that approximated Brent's 18.5 inch erect penis, she made him cry. This was in the Quebec trial in August 2011. Listen to the, the voice when uh, Brent is crying. Compare that with the voice when he's singing long, long time. They're the same voice and the same personality. Okay? So that's my evidence they're not trolls. This isn't going to convince everybody because not all of you all are as smart as I am. But I have the highest IQ of anybody on the planet. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Zach Knight is a genius. Jesus told us that. And he's going to outsmart some of you guys out there because he's a genius at propaganda. But the smart ones out there, like me, I. Jesus told me I had the highest IQ of anybody on the planet. They have a machine at Church of Gale, and they ran it, and it showed that I'm the smartest woman on the planet. I said, Jesus, said, you got to be kidding. He says, oh, yeah, Gail. They ran the IQ test from that machine. He said, your IQ is so high, it broke the machine. Apparently, I have a very high emotional IQ, and this is where I'm, Jesus said, you're smarter than Zach in that area. You have more wisdom than, than him, and you have higher emotional IQ. He said, Zach is, an, Zach is a genius, though, and that's why he's fooling a lot of people. But the smart ones out there, you're going to see through it. My men are not trolls. And if you're smart, <laughs> you'll see it. Come on, Lord. He's mad. Zach Knight's. Hmm. Let's get it on here. Boy, those Jesuits are messing with this webcam. This is Zach Knight's uh, YouTube channel that he established to harass me. And he also stole a, he also went on to Melanie Richards' camera. She's a Gabriel Chana Fox News reporter. And he stole a, he stole a video that she made. Let's see if we can get onto it. He's causing all sorts of problems. No, no. Was it okay? It's trying to kill the battery. It's the aluminum battery. Did you charge it in the car? Yeah, it was charged in the car. Is it supposed to be working? It's supposed to be. Hello, Zach Knight. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Only you could do this, man. You're going to turn it You're going to turn it off, aren't you? Hi, Zach Knight. Hey, Zach Knight. Bastard. I'll see, uh, we'll see you in hell. <laughs> Fuck you up, Jack Knight. Yeah. He's listening. <laughs> you don't like it. You don't like it. These Gabriel Tom Fox news people are interviewing me, do you? Yeah. yeah I know you spy on me 24 7, you sex pervert. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you're coming to me. Do you want more salad and bread? Yeah, some more bread sticks. Yeah. Okay. Salad, you good? Oh, it's delicious. Thank you. Do you want me to get rid of this one? You're still working on it. I can go and get rid of it. I'm good
I don't think so. I think she's an asset. Uh, I want you to compare that voice with uh, the real Terrence Jenkins. That's his uh, nephew, I believe. To intervene, this bomb can um. Now listen to Terry's voice. Compare it to the one at the Gabriel Ton Fox News people. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's me again. Yeah, keep talking. I, I I actually have the video going right now, and I think you're being recorded. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I'm on video. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, say what you need to say. Well, our scientists and nanotechnology research team is saying that this is a new cocky. It's a new kind of nuclear bomb. It's a bomb that's got. It's got bukkake in it. It's going to infect the whole world with Jesuit semen. Okay, keep so that's going. that's all I needed to tell you. Okay. I think, you, I, think you're being, I think you're being recorded. I hope so. Okay, okay I hope so okay. too. Okay, all right. So okay. Uh, I'm going to go. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, now compare that voice with the one that um, you just heard. And they're not the same people. Uh, Zach is trying to claim that uh, Terrence Jenkins, I think it's his nephew, is the same as himself. The voices are different. Kiss me once, kiss me twice, kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. You'll never know how many dreams. God, Jesus. Those desert. Come on, Lord. Block Zack Knight. You've got more power than this. Thank you. This should answer the question. Brent should be able to tell us who he's afraid of. All right, Brent. Brent, let's go ahead and, and have it. Okay, Listen Brent, to Brent's voice. let me ask you something. Which one of these two women are you afraid of? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that settles it. That settles it then. That settles it. We have it. We have the answer right there. From the words of the man himself, Prince Spiner, we know now who he is afraid of. What did he say? You will never know how many dreams I dreamed about you. Or just how empty they all seem without you. So kiss me once, kiss me twice, kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. 